Welcome back guys to another online tutorial based in Photoshop. I'm Jack, one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics. And as always, I'm so glad to seeing you here today. We are here today, guys, to discuss a long exposure effect that we can do in Photoshop. A very quick and easy effect that we can apply. But as you can see, it's really, really cool. And you can really create some cool designs with this effect. Okay, so I have the original image open up on another tab. OK, now, the first thing that I would need to do is duplicate this whole layer, which is Command J on the Mac or Control J on Windows. And as you can see now, I have a duplicate of that original image. Now, what I need to do is I need to make a selection around um, our lady within this image here. So what I'm going to do is I want to use our object selection tool and I'm going to press select subject like so, and as you can see, very, very easy. It's made a very good selection for me. Now with that selection, now I'm gonna apply a layer mask to the top layer, like so. And what I wanna do now is I wanna uh, convert this to a smart object. So I'm gonna right click on the layer and I'm gonna to convert to smart object here. Fantastic. Now, as you saw in the uh, original, we had a black and white uh, theme to our uh, image. OK, so what I need to do now is add a black and white adjustment layer. So if I come to my adjustment layers here, like so, and I have the black and white adjustment layer. Now, the beauty of using the black and white adjustment layers, you can dictate and uh, design your tone of black and white. For instance, what I may do now is bring this red down just a little bit there, let's say. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that, let's say. Perfect. Okay. Now, with the layer that we converted into a smart object, what I'm going to do is highlight that. And I'm going to go to filter. And I'm going to go to blur. And then I want to go to motion blur. And as you can see now, if you can dictate the blur here, if we were to bring this down, no blur at all. As you can see, if you slightly bring this up, you can really start creating a real sort of blurry effect. So let's say I'm pretty happy with that. Let's say, okay. Now, what I can do with my move tool is just simply move our image here to the right, let's say, pressing shift just to keep it in nice and line. You can use your arrow keys and your keyboard just for the final little touches. And there you go, guys. That's how you create a long exposure effect in Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more, please visit our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also check out our website, uh, our Instagram, sorry, at blueskygraphics.uk for some of our amazing work by our very talented students. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.